Hi everyone, welcome to Sofia, the capital city of Bulgaria. In this video, I'm going to go through safety in Sofia and whether I think Sofia is a safe city. Now, Bulgaria was a communist country, so when you are in Sofia, you will see a lot of communist, brutalist architecture. A lot of the buildings do look a little bit unpleasant, and that can be intimidating for some tourists who come to Sofia because they may look at the buildings and they may feel that it may be a bit of a dodgy place to be or a bit of a scary place to be. However, personally speaking, I felt perfectly safe in Sofia. But quickly, I just want to give a shout out to Breeze Esim. It is so frustrating when you go to a new country and you have to pay roaming charges or you have to find a shop selling SIM cards. It's really annoying, but Breeze Esim takes away all those worries because you can purchase ready-made eSIMs as soon as you arrive into the country. They're available in over 150 countries, over 245 mobile networks. Click on the description, click the top link, and it will take you to the Breeze eSIM website. But as I was saying, I felt perfectly fine in Sofia. I didn't see any problems. I didn't feel any danger. I didn't feel like anything bad was gonna happen, like I was gonna be mugged or something like that. Now, of course, every new city you go to, you always want to take safety precaution because you never know what might happen. Don't walk down dark alleyways at night. You know, basic kind of things with every city you go to. But I didn't feel any danger. I didn't feel like someone was gonna pickpocket me. I didn't feel like something bad was gonna happen. So perfectly safe for me personally. Now other people may feel differently, but for me, I felt really, really safe here. So I would say don't be intimidated by the architecture. I know that a lot of people don't like graffiti as well, but honestly, again, you shouldn't be intimidated. It's just artwork. There's lots of artwork around the city. It's not a sign of crime. It's not a sign of danger. So yes, I did feel safe walking around Sofia, both day and night, but of course not down dark alleyways or dodgy suburbs that you wouldn't go to in the first place. As long as you stick to the city center, as long as you stick to well-lit streets, I don't think anything will happen. As long as you're respectful to the people, obviously don't disrespect the people wherever you go in the world because that's just gonna lead to problems. Be respectful, be polite to the people, be friendly to the people, and just don't go looking for trouble because wherever you look for trouble, you will find trouble. Now, if you have personally been to Sofia yourself, drop in the comment section how safe you felt in Sofia. So, of course, I want to hear all of your opinions because this is just my opinion. Maybe you guys out there have a different opinion to me. Maybe you guys feel that Sofia is a bit more of an unsafe city. So drop a comment in the comment section and tell me whether you felt safe walking around Sofia. Did anything bad happen to you? Or did you feel perfectly safe like me? So again, drop a comment in the comment section and do tell me how safe you felt in Sofia when you went to Sofia. Now, one of the really good things about Sofia, in my opinion, is the public transport. So if you actually go to my Sofia playlist on my channel, so go to my channel, go to my Sofia playlist. I do have a summary video on Sofia and my impressions of the city of Sofia on the first day that I arrived. And I mentioned in that video how fantastic the public transport is. So the good thing about Sofia is that everything you need as a tourist is located in the city center. It is a very walkable city center, but the great news is you also have public transport. So for example, if you want to go to the train station, which is a little bit outside of the city center, you can take the Metro from the city center to the central train station. You can take Metro wherever you like. You can take Metro to the airport. You've got buses, you've got trams. You've got one of the best public transport networks I've seen in Europe, to be honest with you. So I've been all around Europe. I've seen many capital cities and Sofia has some of the best public transport I've ever seen. Now, if you haven't done so already, please do hit the like button right now. It really does help the channel and it really does help this video because what it does is it promotes this video and it allows other people, other holiday makers, other travelers who are coming to Sofia, it gives them a chance to see this video and a chance to learn more about the safety tips that they should bear in mind in Sofia and whether Sofia is actually a safe city in the first place. So please do click the like button. It really does help the channel and I really do appreciate it. And also make sure you click subscribe as well. Click the subscribe button. Again, it really does help my channel out. We're now over 750 subscribers. So I do thank everyone who has clicked the subscribe button already, but we've got a long way to go. We've got lots more subscribers to gain to the channel over the next months and years. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that like button as well. So overall, would I recommend Sofia? If you like really peaceful cities, yet you still like your big cities with all your shops and restaurants and bars, 
I would recommend Sofia because even though it is the capital of Bulgaria and even though it is Bulgaria's biggest city, it's actually really, really peaceful. Like it's not very loud at all. People are very quiet. So if you do like that kind of atmosphere, I would recommend Sofia. But if you are looking for a bit more hustle and bustle and a bit more touristy things to do, then I think Sofia is probably not the best option for that. So I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, make sure you click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video.